What do you I'm want saying. in a mate? You. That's Who am I? Point. What am I? You V O N Von. And this is why stuff don't work out. What this did is I why say wrong? you I, you want me as your mate because I'm Von V O N. That's yeah. that's your whole meaning. I already know enough about you and whatnot. We talk all the time, and when, and when we get when we get together, it's electric. Okay, so what is it then? What what is it that will make you think that I would be a good mate with you? You got a fat ass. You speak your mind, and you a freak like me, and uh, yeah, on some Medina. Well, I go to shit. the gym five days a week. I'm working diligently to get rid of all this booty because it's heavy. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be a flat booty, flat booty girl in six months. See, <laughs> your flat is my fat. <laughs> stop! 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 <laughs> Come on now. How did you feel about what I just said? Your I, flat. I'm, I'm not is really my even fat. listening to you, Jack. Yes, you are. Why are you giggling like a piglet? Where is this going? What is happening? Well, Somebody go, help me. Right? This is Vondi Carlo, and you're watching This Is Fifty dot com. And I own that. This Negro here. <laughs>
I know what I like about you too, but what is this becoming? Is this like I feel a like therapy you, session for us? Is this couples therapy? What is going on? I'm just. I, I'm I thought just, I was here to promote the book, talk about the Patrice O'Neill documentary that I'm doing. Like, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. We what do, am we, I doing? We don't talk about that shit too. D- Jack at, trying to get a date. No, date no, Vaughn. Trying to get a mate. <laughs> you, Are you ready for a mate though? That's yeah. a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah the high pitched voice. Yeah. I don't no, believe that, that was a tenor. you. That was a tenor. But no, that was that was a tenor trying yeah. to scoot on into soprano. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's always a good old fashioned line when it's a high pitch. When is the book? What can I find this book? And is, is it out yet? And uh, who is the target audience? But what kind of that's a good book? question it, it's called speak fluent man the top things women should consider before blaming the man the website is speakfluentman.com yeah the book is a good read for men and women although the title sounds like it's just directed at women it's it's a good read for men too i named the book speak fluent man because it's it's a language that women have to learn per se it's it's a way to learn the language of men to communicate with them better the reason it's a good read for men is because it's based on my relationship my 10-year relationship with patrice o'neill who had very uh well-known philosophies on relationships and it you get how he taught it so just because you're a man and you speak your own language does not necessarily make you a good teacher so it's a good read for men as far as learning how to communicate what they already know and having patience with women. Like every guy that I that has like nice arms and juicy lips and chocolate skin is not necessarily my match. I would like them to be, but I have to find out if this is really my match as a person. Just because I'm physically attracted to you or I have some type of whatever chemistry it is does not necessarily mean that this is my mate and we're going to get along. We have to learn each other and our different wants and, and stuff before we move too far into a relationship. And then six months later, we find out we don't even like each other because we spent all this time lying. Told you, man, you like football until you got them locked in that relationship, right? Now Football Sunday is stupid. Well, nope. Keep your mouth shut, get in there and make some burgers for the game because you shouldn't have lied. Now live with your life. Well, how about this? Yeah. All right, I have yeah. a, I have a coupon we code. We can do it. I have a coupon code mm-hmm. for your, your people. Mm-hmm. It's um, five off Jack. Five off Jack. Five off Jack. Boom. You get five dollars off the book at speakfluentman.com. Are you very confident in your audience and purchasing the book? Most definitely. Okay. Uh, if I get, let's see, one thousand orders. Okay. Under the coupon code Five Off Jack, mm. I'll come back and give you whatever kind of kiss you want. That, that, that's my prize. Yeah, you talking to somebody that don't pay for pussy already, man? I mean, like, but it's me. I'm V O O. I'm V O N. Man, I we, can't just give you the whole relationship. Look, okay, you can we, take we me to a boxing match. Look, what the fuck? What kind of gifts are these? <laughs> you know. Okay. Th- look, I see. This we, is the classic we we, mistake we know, with we, women. We, we okay. don't get. A, we don't. We're not getting along on camera. Let me let her finish <laughs> selling her book. Let's talk about the documentary. Yeah, we just raised. Um, I'm working with uh, director Mark Farrell, Mile High, Mile High Films. It's almost a tongue twister. Um, and we did an Indiegogo campaign and raised almost $130,000. We exceeded our goal amount, which was $125,000 for our production startup costs. Well, y'all gonna need and, that um, <laughs> that, no, that's only the pr- that's only the get started budget. Okay, we're doing a feature length film, okay. and it's going to be beautiful. Why take one hundred thirty thousand dollars? The budget is two hundred fifty thousand dollars. We only ask through niggas, crowdfunding. You, you thirty thousand. No, we are no, not we shooting the Patrice shit. O'Neill documentary on somebody's little funky iPhone jack. Okay, <laughs> doing this the real way. He would have wanted it this way. The way you Absolutely, he's a perfectionist. This five off Jack, five off Jack. Speakfluentman.com. Help, 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 help him out. Help him out. Help him out. We gonna take our money back from this nigga and gonna do this a whole <laughs> other way. All right. He ain't finna get over my little lights. You want you want a commission? Hmm? You want a commission? No, I just want to. Okay, be good. Happy. I burped too. You weren't getting it. I my 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 soul was like. No. The Patrice O'Neill documentary is called Better Than You. It, it's my way of solidifying 
his legacy and I want to do it in a beautiful feature film because he when he passed away he was right on the cusp of breaking into the next level of his career and I know that he was a huge fan of film and good quality films and he never got his leading starring role in a film and we don't know where his career was going to take him so this is kind of my way of putting him in that starring leading man role in a film why lasagna why did he want you to call you a one woman show lasagna? lasagna is the loose skin and stretch marks that you have on your lower belly as defined by him uh after you have a baby. When I was pregnant with my daughter, I went up to 212 pounds from about 145 pounds. And I was completely stretched out. It was a mess. And um, I had the, you know, the crunched up loose skin and stretch marks on my stomach and Patrice called it lasagna. And I started writing this one woman show. And when I first started writing the one woman show, it was about, you know, postpartum depression, body um, insecurities, um, when pretty is all you think you are, and then it's stripped all away during pregnancy. What do you do? And how do you redefine yourself when all you thought you were, were was pretty? And Patrice was very instrumental in, in helping me rise above my own prettiness and learning and understanding my value as a woman and as a person outside of just my appearance which at in the early stages I had a huge issue with um, I even talk about how you can get ad addicted to plastic surgery which because I got the tummy tuck to get rid of the lasagna and it left me with a scar from corner to corner right across the big like the top of the bikini line and Patrice called that my Wonder Woman belt and he was just like when are you gonna stop you keep going from one scar, covering one scar to another scar to another scar, but you ain't really, you ain't really working on, you learning, but you ain't really listening to all this stuff you're learning. You're not applying, you're not listening. And I had an epiphany that day. When you hear the cliche term, the truth shall sh set you free, the truth shall set you free. It really, it's corny, it's corny, but it's so real. It's like, oh yeah, I'm not perfect. I know what you're looking at. I know what you see. I know how to put myself together. I know how to wear these jeans. I know how to make all this look good. But really, if you really look, if you really look, there's something behind that. And it's a it's a story behind every scar. And as far as the documentary, that goes without saying, I just have to really honor Patrice's life and voice and comedy the way it should be done. And I have the right team to do that. And you know, all, all the comedians you could think of, uh, they all have contributed to helping in moving the campaign and they talking about it being in the film yeah so yeah I'm rambling now because no, I'm a no, girl no, 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 girls no, 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 ramble you, listen, you, listen, you <laughs> needed that and I just wanted to be here no I was trying to get all the shut up Jack just stop trying to be there for me <laughs> I was just trying to get all the information out with, with that being said Vaughn is there anything that we didn't cover I don't know I I always go home and go oh I should have said this but or should have said that but something. this is the never-ending story you can call the me Vaughn and Jack Paul. story yes <laughs> if we gonna come back if I sell a thousand books under uh five off jack what did i say it was yeah five off jack mm -hmm. do i really have to um do our thing because no, no. I, I like giving away kisses and all that stuff for free if i'm really in a relationship with somebody right right, right. most definitely most definitely and you know um i don't want our shit to be on no shit. <laughs> but that yeah. would be dope if i sold that amount of books no yeah i want you to all the way win and you're gonna just sell from you i mean it's all over the place right books. all right well and you going platinum with your book, all right? Ah, You're yes, bestseller. Yes, yes, it should be a bestseller. And you know all of the things that's going to happen between you and I. They just already doing that. Yes, it's always such. Yeah, but can Let's, I get good? Hmm? I was like, can I have this? Yeah, you have whatever I got. It's all yours. What do you think I'm pointing at? Well, my heart. Oh, yay! Points for Jack. Points for Jack. I don't know what shit at? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> good word. Like I said. This is going to be the first of many times you see Von DiCarlo and Jack together also. Um, just can't say you're really something you got to be. We open, we out of here. You know, um, like I always say, don't kiss hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Y'all go to commercial. Pow.